Hi guys, Tage here. Welcome back to episode 10 of Nutilus. In today's episode, we're going to build the French Quarter of uh, Nutilus, I guess, which is obviously inspired by the real French Quarter in uh, New Orleans. And uh, yeah, we're getting right into it here. So I'm starting off by putting down a few of these uh, European buildings um, by Fane Build, I think. And uh, yeah, the reason why I'm using European buildings is because I, I mean, they, they fit the best for a French Quarter area, in my opinion. Because um, like a lot of the buildings um, in the real French Quarter are from like Spain and stuff, even though it's called French Quarter. But um, yeah, so uh, that's why I'm using the European buildings, and I think it it, it turned out it turned out uh, really good uh, in the end. And uh, yeah, so I'm using also these uh, all of these balcony props and I guess French Quarter props by King Leno. And uh, yeah, so these balconies have been out for quite a while, but um, like I wanted to, to try out some techniques and stuff and I wanted to try using them before uh, I made an episode. So that's why I've been sort of waiting a little bit uh, with making this episode, but uh, I kind of felt um, ready to make it now and um, here it is. So, so yeah, I, I think it turned out pretty good. It, it went a little bit slower in the beginning to like work on these, uh, but um, when I got into a pretty good flow um, of adding all of these on, on the sides of the buildings, I, I think it turned out pretty good and also it, um, it just um, like the process of making this just sped up a lot um, in the end, I guess. Um, so it's it's actually pretty simple um, when you when you get into it. So I'm also using some of these shutters here, uh, which are by another guy, um, which like yeah, collaborator I guess with King Leno on making some of this. Uh, I can't remember his name right now, but um, they look really good. There are some like green versions and uh, like also some red ones, and I uh, just added those. Uh, but I decided to like not use them on like um, many buildings because first of all it, it's gonna take up a lot of um, props on the prop limit but also it would be really tedious and I don't think you would notice it that much but I, I think I'll go in and add um, some more to some buildings and stuff but I won't but I won't like overdo it um, because that that's just gonna take a lot of time but I think they still look really good so I'm definitely gonna use them in some certain spots and stuff like that so Thanks a lot, King Leno and the other guy. I'm sorry for not knowing your name, but yeah. Thanks a lot for making all of these French Quarter buildings. It obviously wouldn't be possible to make something like this without all those props. So that's really awesome. And you should all, you should also go and check out uh, King Leno's uh, New Orleans project. He's making like a mini project, um, recreating the French Quarter area and stuff of New Orleans. So I'll make sure to link that in the description. You should definitely go and support his videos. Yeah, so I'm using a lot of different uh, European buildings. As I said, I'm using, for example, this uh, Lugo building, uh, which is by Armesto. And um, yeah, I think it looks really good just combining these. I'm also using some of these uh, like more American buildings and uh, just trying to find buildings that would make sense in an area like this. And uh, also uh, decided to uh, put some smaller roads here because I realized the the Bourbon Street, which I'm, um, which I'm um, replicating, I, I guess this off, uh, has a lot like smaller roads, um, so that's why I decided to change these to um, a smaller size. So uh, I think that turned out really good.
So I'm continuing placing down all these balconies and uh, yeah, it, it's sort of repetitive, but I, I think it's fine because uh, I mean, this is probably going to be the only episode we do this uh, sort of stuff with uh, the front French Quarter district. So, but yeah, we're soon going to get into placing some uh, like signs and stuff uh, on the sides of the buildings, uh, which is just going to make it even better. Um, I'm, I'm starting here to put some of these signs, which are also by uh, King Leno. So uh, we have some of these neon signs, which are super cool, um, which which really re creates the like real feel of the Bourbon streets. I'll put up some pictures on screen right now uh, on how the Bourbon Street looks, uh, which is the like main road uh, going through the Fen French Quarter in New Orleans. Um, so in case you haven't seen it, you can have a look at those pictures. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I'm pretty happy how this turned out, and um, I'm putting down some of these, uh, some of these uh, herring, or I've already put those down, but some of those herringbone decals on the, uh, on the sidewalks, and um, yeah, I think that made it even better because uh, I noticed that uh, there were some like other, I guess, textures on the on the street running running through uh, the French Quarter in real life, um, so I think that made it a lot better, and I think it looked. Just a lot better to not have concrete. I uh, also talked about that in the last episode that I like to um, create some different areas that doesn't have concrete as the uh, sidewalk texture. But, um, but yeah, so um, if you have any, imp I guess, suggestions for improvements uh, of this French Quarter district, make sure to let me know in the comments because I might be doing some things wrong and uh, I, I haven't been to New Orleans in real life. So I'm definitely open to some suggestions if I could improve something. Um, as I said before, I'm not gonna go in and change like major things. Uh, but if there are any like small details which can make it a bit better, I'm definitely open for changing that. So um, yeah, if you have any ideas uh, for that, just let me know. Um, so also in the, not the last episode, but like episode eight or something, uh, I talked about making a a graphics <laughs> tutorial, but uh, I, I talked with Press and um, I heard he was uh, like making one at that time uh, and he, he released that one like a week ago or something and um, yeah, so definitely go and check out his graphics mod tutorial because I still get a lot of comments and questions about <laughs> which graphic mods I'm using and he, he explains it really good in that video so I'll make sure to leave that in the description as well so I'm going to check that out if you have any uh, questions regarding the graphic mods and, uh, and yeah, so in case you follow me on Twitter, uh, you might have noticed that I tweeted about um, Rosenberg, which is my project before uh, this New Toulouse project, which isn't done. Like, I just took a break from it. And um, I think about, like, making a new episode of it, but because uh, I launched into the save game. But it just got, like, <laughs> pretty unmotivated because I, I started, like, working on the episode and doing some suburbs and stuff. But uh, when I was pretty much done with those, I... I don't know, I didn't have much more inspiration, so I just went back to New Toulouse and started working on this, so... Um, I will definitely have some more Rosenberg episodes, uh, in case you want to see more of that, but... Um, maybe not in the near future, but I'll definitely make sure to uh, do, I guess, a return for that series um, in the future. So, um, yeah, it's definitely not finished yet, and not even sure if I will finish it, but there's definitely gonna be more episodes. Um, on that series.
So I'm working on this guitar factory over here, which is a pretty old asset, but I, I think it still looks really good. So yeah, I decided to put down this asset here so we could work on something else than the French Quarter stuff. Um, just to mix up the episode a little bit so it doesn't get too repetitive. Uh, but I think that little area turned out pretty good. And uh, I'm just continuing these more uh, high-rise building here, uh, or buildings in this little area to, I guess, uh, fill in this spot here. And um, yeah, I mean, this episode is just a lot of expan expansion uh, in the city, um, which I think is pretty important to not like focus on some really small areas and detail them an extreme amount. I could do that if we, ha if we had like a smaller city or a town or something. But uh, because I have this like big of a city, um, I, I want to try to expand as much as possible and not do too much like ultra detailing um, because we will get like nowhere if I do that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you have enjoyed it, this like really New Orleans episode with all the French Quarter stuff, uh, make sure to leave a like. And also if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure to subscribe. I've noticed that most people watching this these videos aren't subscribed, so uh, in case you want to have more of these videos or want to see more of them, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. And um, in case you want some updates and some cool pictures and stuff, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, they're both linked in the description down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a great day and bye-bye.